Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Back. It's 12 after the hour. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Thanks for being part of my day. I'm Jim Blassingame, and you're listening to the Small Business Advocate Show, and I'm glad you're here. I'm glad Ruth Sherman's here, too, ladies and gentlemen. Ruth's a good friend of ours, a longtime member of our Brain Trust. She's an inter- internationally recognized expert on speech and interpersonal communication. She's the president of Ruth Sherman Associates. She's the author of Get Them to See It Your Way Right Away, which is my constant lament. And she's our good friend, Ruth Sherman. Welcome back. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you. And Happy New Year to you, Jim, and all your, all your listeners. So, Ruth, thanks, thanks again for hanging out with us. We got uh, it, the, one of the things that, that's going to happen this year ad nauseum is, is, is we're going to have the, the politics right in our face, the, the whole, especially presidential politics, right in our face. We're going to be so sick of it. We're going to be so ready for, for next November to, to, to come around. We're going to almost wish our life away. But in the meantime, while we're, while we're doing that, while we're getting, getting this uh, double barrel uh, blast of politics, we ought to take an opportunity to learn something from these folks, and you can help us with that. That's right, Jim. You know, I like to say that he or she who communicates best wins, and the presidential uh, race, the contest, is one of the best places business owners and anybody who wants to become a better communicator can look to learn and uh, see what these guys are doing and what they should or shouldn't be doing. Mm-hmm. Well, the, and of course, uh, um, when they, when they, uh, s- some of the things that they do and that they pull on each other, don't work in the marketplace. The negative stuff doesn't work in the marketplace. And That's so, right. So I think we should learn from it, even though it, and, and this is this is one of the sad parts of this year to me, Ruth. And it's really unfortunate for for the for people in the marketplace because negative doesn't work in in the marketplace, but it does work in politics. And that's I think that's sad, don't you? I do, and you know, it works in politics primarily, well, mainly, I should say, when the other, the, the opposing candidate doesn't have the wherewithal to fight back. So I think it's particularly difficult then. One of the things that I was listening when I was listening to your predictions, which were fantastic, <laughs> by the way, Thanks. everybody should listen to them, um, you, uh, what, what you were saying was that, you know, if you don't have the cash, it's going to be difficult for that's you right. to fight back. That's um, right. Publicly, and so there is that balance issue. And in business, it's similar. We, you're absolutely right. Of course, it's not negative. Doesn't work, and you don't want to go negative. But you do have. There are so many new ways to communicate your message and to get it out for free. For well, free. Well, that's one of the things we, that Barack Obama taught us. His campaign taught us uh, four, three, three plus years ago, and that right. is is the way he and his his group, David Pluff. I heard David Pluff give a speech one time on how how he and his organization pulled that off for Obama, and that is doing the the social media, the the community building, all that. I mean, that was basically McCain was unarmed against that kind of a that kind of an organization, and and was and was primarily, I think, the reason why Obama won was was the way he used the the new media. That's right, and it goes to what you also said. Uh, just a moment ago, uh, during your earlier, the earlier part of your broadcast this morning, about, you know, you can do things the way you did them in 1995, but it's not necessarily going to work for you. Right. Right? Exactly. Some, um, some things. So you got to change. You some gotta things change. aren't going to change, and cash is to, cash was king in 95, it's king in 2012, but, that's right. but the way you go to market has changed, and that's, that's what's, totally changed. and that's what we're just talking about with Obama. That's right. The way the information exchanges hands, it's completely different. Mm-hmm. And if you're not on top of it and you don't have an operation that is on top of it, and this, again, in for businesses, it doesn't have to cost anything or, or very much. 
So you've got to get your message out there. You've got to hammer them. I mean, there are really a couple of rules. When you want to persuade somebody, you've got to repeat. You've got to repeat constantly what your message is. You've got to stick to it. Mm -hmm. You have to have message discipline, uh, which is what Obama had and what many of these... That's what the politicians, that's what they do, isn't it? They they come up with one theme, one message. They they, They find out what works, and they stick with that, don't they? That's right, and that message has to connect emotionally with the with the voters. And as business owners, we have to find messages that connect emotionally with our prospects and clients. And again, following those three rules: the, the emotional rule, the repeat rule, and the discipline rule. Basically, you can persuade somebody to come over to your way of thinking. Right. And uh, so it's it's really quite a, a fascinating, I think, a fascinating lesson in persuasion to watch well, these people. That's mm-hmm. right. And, and another thing, one of my uh, negotiating experts, Jim Camp, has decided, he says the research shows, the neuro neurological research shows, that yes. every decision, even the ones you research and do all the due diligence on, ultimately every decision comes down to emotions. What do you think? I agree. I agree. And and he or she who is able to uh, fashion a statement uh, that is emotional at once and connects the dots for people will right. be most successful. Right. And, you know, so we bring up, let me bring up one emotional uh, statement, a very emotional statement. We are the 99% is a powerful, powerful statement. Mm-hmm. It's simple. You may not agree with it. You may not agree with it, and I respect that, but the power of that statement is not going away. But uh, uh, it, it, and, and, I, and I agree, I completely agree with you, right? except that, and this, this proves the, the, your, your earlier points, yeah. because they don't seem to have one central message giver, one, their, their message seems to be muddled, that, that 99%, we are the 99%, you're talking of obviously of the, of the, uh, the uh, Occupy Wall Street folks, they have not been as effective and they have, as they could have been. And I wrote about this a, a while back, and that is they allowed other people to deliver their brand message. They didn't do it themselves very well. You're right. You're right. They don't have message discipline. They don't have message yep. discipline or have any kind of discipline. Right. But, right? Okay. But the statement itself Mm -hmm. is not going anywhere. And my advice to the business owners and government leaders to whom they're pushing it is to take heed. Take heed. It's not going away. Mm -hmm. By the same token, if we look at some of the politicians, I I think going back, uh, like you said, uh, three or four years ago to when Obama was was running, when he was campaigning, he had his whole hope and change. And any time he diverged from that, he failed. Mm Mm-hmm. He stuck with that. That made sense at the time. Now, that, of course, is not going to work this time. Right. But there are other ways of stringing slogans together, of putting slogans together mm-hmm. that will connect. With and people. and, and so it's people, interesting. people respond to those things. Uh, Ruth, give us your website, please. Yes, RuthSherman.com. Check yeah. it out, folks. The book is called Get Them to See It Your Way. Right away, Ruth Sherman and I will be right back. Stay with us. Say what you see fit, but don't ask me why. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.